evil blanket fish has awoken. <laughs>effective idea. Leave it to the privileged elite to find a way to make their lives even easier. What? Anyone can post a job request? Why didn't you say anything sooner? Let's go fight the elite monster first. Where is it? Barnauer High Road. She is... right behind me. Actually, since I'm going to be here, I might as well check to see what kill missions there are. to appreciate this in silence. All right, let's get to killing. Hey, Jigs, how you doing? Falter.
Well, I mean, I guess triggering your appetite isn't bad in and of itself, unless you're, you know, unless it's triggering you to only want junk food. What was I looking for? But to replace the food. for me we have no limits so just find something that's you know not not bad for you to munch on and hope that your craving goes away Yeah, I don't know that you'll win that battle. And that's what I'm saying, you're probably better off eating something, you know, somewhat healthy to try to get your craving to go away than trying to force yourself not to eat. I think I found the elite monster. Thank you. 
Still not sure what enemy I haven't gotten the job done for yet. these guys. Shall not falter. That's it? Wow. Didn't find anything.
Yeah, what's up, Jigs? Destruction. What is that for? Arcane art that creates tornadoes of darkness. More tornadoes will be produced when mastered. And drink some water. Drink some romantic water. I don't know what you want me to tell you about that. Now you think that's what you want, because that'll get old really quick. Looks like I overdid it. I must become strong. Thank 
And I'm telling you, you think that's what you want, but it'll get old really quick. Like, like very quickly, will it will it stop being fulfilling and start just being annoying to have someone obsessed with you. Is aqua ribbon something I have to craft? I know the Earth Cape is. A hole in the southwestern area. So oh, we can go back and go so get cute. that cat. Honestly, sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But, like, to have someone that's truly obsessed, like... Basically, it would be those days when you're, like, kind of off balance and you can't stop talking. Like, if it was like that all the time, that's kind of what you're asking for. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's you're not going to like it. Looking for a hole that the cat might be. And then the other question comes in with even if you do find that and you do find someone who is obsessed with you, are you going to be able to? properly realize it. Because it's very possible that someone could be obsessed with you in a very non-obvious way. And you may not even notice. Kiss a merfish, it would turn back into Oh crap. Can't take that on yet. 
Did you read that in a book or something? Don't go trying it for real now. I'm basically saying that it's possible for someone, especially in women. I mean, when a guy is obsessed with a woman, he makes it fairly obvious. You know, obviously because in the relationship, you know, <sighs> how do I put this? In the way relationships work, usually work out, the man is the one who approaches the woman. So when a man is obsessed with a woman, he makes it very obvious. He's constantly asking her out, he won't leave her alone, etc, etc. Women are used to, you know, receiving that. So, if a woman is obsessed with you, she's not necessarily going to be aggressive about it. She can still be very passive, like trying to get your attention in very subtle ways that you may not rec that you may not recognize. So it is possible that some a, a woman could be obsessed with you, and you may not know it because she's being so passive about it. And that's what I'm saying. You know, a I think that what you're asking for is not something that you will actually want. Because, like I said, like you, you think you do, but it will get old very quickly. And B, even if you do get what you want, you may not notice the signs. Do I want to do this? Because usually the rewards for making an extra payment are pretty good. I am gonna do all these kill quests, so that won't leave me broke. Congrats on one million gold repaid! I knew you could take the heat, Luger. Hey, one million down, another nineteen to go. Those, those I think I've already got the kill limit for. How uneventful. Thank 
I'll assume that one was for the flowers. Damn, now that I think about it, I really should have read the request for the cat on this level so I could have gotten the hint as to where it was before I came in. your navel in soy sauce, it tastes a little bit like sea urchin. A lot more fights where the frame rate is dropping. No apologies. I hope that's not an indication that my PS3 is slowly dying. the cat even without the hint. Oh, 
Check this. Because there's like three different entrances to this marsh, and none of them connect to each other. Not falter. Damn it, thought I could get out of the way fast enough. Look at 
looks like I overdid it. Golden frog egg. Yeah, because that one wasn't marked. Didn't have a little shiny thing. Just noticed it as I was walking by. It had a, a prompt. Not really that much here. Probably wasn't worth coming all the way out here. Come on, load in. Didn't beat enough of the plants. Fine, let's go. I think I, I probably only need like one more. At some point, I'm gonna have to really sit down and like. I might need to use a guide because not all of them have missions. But yeah, at some point, I may need to sit down and actually look through a guide and find all the cats that I missed. Uh, yeah, let's go kill that. Probably like one or two more plant monsters. for me. Let's go do Muse's character chapter. Rare items. Why, whatever would you want to talk to me about, Luger? be happier not knowing about that but do you still want to ask I was deceiving Jude and his friends the whole time I was planning to kill them you see <laughs> maybe I'll kill Al too you, you don't fool me it's true what Muse did indeed try to kill us all Well, 
I'm not scared. Muse, there is one thing I need to know. Whatever is that? How did you return to the human realm? I don't know. How did you? The power to cut through space-time. I lost the blade, but its power was mine to begin with. If it's just me alone, I can still transport myself between the spirit and human realms. Hey, Luger! Balin! Hello again, little lady. Still as little as ever, I see. Kids don't just grow up overnight. I thought scientists were supposed to be smart. Oh, not as smart as you, obviously. I'm just on my way back from the La Forte Research Center. One of the fellas there is researching communication between humans and spirits. You should go help him out if you get a chance. You're a spirit, right? Hmm? Me? If his research pans out, humans and spirits would be able to communicate from their respective realms. I bet our buddy Jude would be pretty happy about that. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh? Mesmerized by my beauty, are you? Very well. I'll help out. Really? Oh, that's great news. You're kind of intimidating, so I was afraid to ask. But now I'm glad I did. Go talk to Nigel at the Laforte Research Center. He'll get everything set up. Good luck. Well then, let's go see this Nigel. Oh? His research interests me. Then to the Laforte Research Center we go. Come along, everyone. Muse possesses the power to travel across space-time. She may well be the only spirit capable of crossing between human and spirit realms at will. Why walk all the way over there when I've already done that? Hmm. Now how do I get over there? Okay, so it's just up on the second floor. Just in case. Huh? Who are you? Pardon me. Where might I find Dr. Nigel? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to share that information. Maybe I could persuade you. And, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of researching spirits myself. Well, if you tell me what I want to know, I'll let you research me as long as you want. Huh? Hey, Luger! I can't see! What's wrong? Not interested in a spirit's physical form? sort of thing you like? You humans are daring. Uh, n not at all. This is just scientific curiosity. Then by all means, satisfy your curiosity. 
It seems Dr. Nigel has gone to Arklund Quag to perform some field work. Hmm. Does Musée's behavior surprise you? No. She's much easier to get along with now. That's Nigel. Are you Nigel? Great as a chocobo nut. The one and only. Why? What's with the get up? Hmm? Oh, this. I'm trying to communicate with monsters. Looks cool, huh? Not at all. Well, I'm sure it gets the job done. Phelan asked me to help you with your research. Oh! <laughs> Are you a spirit? Yes. Well, obviously. This is fantastic! And you're totally willing to cooperate? Are you sure? Is there some reason she shouldn't be? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Forgive me. I'm just so thankful you're willing to cooperate with our research. I'll zip back to the Laforte Research Center and get everything ready. Come as soon as you can. You sure this is a good idea? We're certainly getting our exercise today, hmm? This Nigel fellow is an odd one. Don't worry, he's got nothing on you. Behold, the end result of all those years of research! The Spirit Chat Yakety Strap 2000! A bracelet? Not just any bracelet! I made it so I could chat with monsters, but it picks up the voices of spirits instead! Is this safe? So it's busted. Hey, sometimes science is busted. You should remember that, young lady. He just got cool all of a sudden. So, am I supposed to wear it on my wrist? No, not you. It's meant for humans, not spirits. Oh, really? Well, then why am I even here? When we contact the spirit realm, we'll need you to explain to them what's going on. We wouldn't want to tick them off. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Fine. Wait! I almost forgot. The bracelet doesn't work on Riza Maxians. Uh, why didn't you just tell us that in the first place? Well... Anything happening, Luger? Can you hear any spirit voices? the spirits say what is that supposed to mean 
Come on, did you actually hear voices or not? Uh, Nigel, explain what happened. Oh, I was afraid of this. Honestly, it's just a prototype. It still needs a lot of tweaks. Then you won't be needing us anymore. Come on, let's head back. Wait, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Okay, what is it this time? If you try to remove the spirit chat yakety strap 2000, you'll die. Kind of something you tell beforehand. The calculatrix run their course, so don't fuss with it. That's a nasty device to be stuck with. I'm terribly sorry, Luger. This predicament is all my fault, I'm afraid. Yank the little gizmo off and he dies? No way! <laughs> hmm? Regardless of who's to blame, I think we can all agree to abandon this foolhardy idea. out of stuff now so let's go pick up the stuff that we got from making the extra payment and then we'll go do the main story You. We're on a roll, lady. We should get out there and grab the last way marker. It's not that easy. Something's preventing entry into fractured dimensions. We think it's the spirit Maxwell. <gasps> the CEO will bring you up to speed on all the details in his office. Luger, hey! This is no time for small talk, you guys! All you need to know is Maxwell stopping us from getting the last way marker. Wait, Maxwell? Things are getting interesting. It would seem I need to have a chat with these spurious overseers of yours. We're coming with you. Fine, just hurry up! to bring along an entourage like this with the foreign king and a great spirit it's probably not wise but i doubt we'd be able to stop them why luger you're late i believe you have something to tell us mr bacor yes something about maxwell my goodness no one said you brought a vip Please pardon the intrusion. I am the king of Riza Maxia. Call me Gaius. It's a pleasure, Highness. Beasley Bakur, CEO of the Spirius Corporation. Are you certain you're safe here? What, with the peace accord ratification ceremony fast approaching? Fear not. He is under my protection. Who's she? Trusted. Oh, I'm just a humble spirit. Don't mind me. You're a spirit. I see. What happened? We've detected the fractured dimension that contains the final way marker of Canaan. Unfortunately, there's an obstacle somewhere within the dimensional abyss that's blocking all attempts at entry. I wonder if there's a way to circumvent it. We tried to force our way through, but were ever so rudely evicted. By the power of the four great spirits. The power of the four? Mila. Indeed. 
Mila Maxwell herself stands between us and the final way marker. It was Kronos who put her there. But escaping from the Abyss should be child's play if she has the four with her. Perhaps it's not a matter of wanting to return, but of being unable. <laughs> Regardless, the final way marker is beyond our reach until something is done about Mila Maxwell. I would like to request the help of Riza Maxia with this situation. Very well. We'll look for a solution on our end, too. The solution is clear, isn't it? Hey, where are you going? Yes, Rowan? What is it? El and Mila are still somewhere in the city. Let's go find them. Oh, if it's anything like what happened to Rollo, one of them is just going to disappear. Ah, no teleporting. So I guess that means something's going to happen in here. Don't remember where I had to go to find buy a pretty ribbon. Mila. Hey Luger, Mila's sad, but I don't know what she's sad about. You get it, don't you? That's right. The one who's keeping your Mila from returning is me. Because two identical things can't coexist in the Prime Dimension. This world's not big enough for two Milas. Yours can't return until I'm gone. Mila, wait! 
the way to bring her back into her rightful dimension is obvious. You have to kill me. <gasps> what? Ixne in front of the kid, yeah? No point hiding it. It's the truth. Yeah, well, it's gonna have to wait. Gaius just called. He got word that Exodus is plotting a whopper of an attack. Don't tell me they're targeting the peace accord ceremony. He wants our help nipping this thing in the bud, so to speak. What do you say? <laughs> Let's go. What do you mean, we? Am I going too? if they just didn't care. Time to hurry then. Gaius is already on his way to where they're holding the ceremony in Marksburg. <laughs> I knew it all along. It's me. Put me in touch with those Exodus lowlifes, would you? Exodus just doesn't give up, do they? It's up to us to stop them. Come on, guys. Let's hurry. I don't know what to make of you. What do you hope to gain by cozying up to me like this? Hey, I didn't say I minded. I just want to know what's in it for you. Actually, forget I said anything. Here, just take this. Mental strength. Site 3. Yeah, that's not anything big. Hey, not bad. Good luck. You think that's true? No two of the same thing can simultaneously exist in the prime dimension? There's no definitive proof either way. True. Luger, what happened at the Epsilla ruins? Translation, I feasted upon the power of my other self and became even more. Well, Rolo met another Rolo, and the Rolo with the weird voice disappeared. It was like our Rolo just replaced him. Well, there you have it. The other Mila entered the Prime Dimension, while our Mila was trapped in the Dimensional Abyss. So she could be the cork in the bottle that's stopping our Mila from getting back in. It all adds up. So if we return the other Mila to her fractured dimension... But we already destroyed her dimension. And besides, once we enter a fractured dimension, we can't get back without destroying it. Why does it have to be like this? Okay, so both of those are dark. So I essentially just need one that does good dark.
Undertow is the only other one.
Everybody's all set up now. So where are we going again? Marksburg. What sort of horrible scheme have they hatched this time? here what's happening based on our documents we're rounding up exodus agents who slipped into the city quietly of course yeah it'd be bad news if the public found out if people found out you could just erase them from history that's your specialty right mila take it easy there a problem I'm sure it's nothing to you. You destroy whole worlds. Taking me out is trivial. <laughs> Taking out Maxwell? Everybody stop fighting! The ceremony is about to get started. We've captured most of the Exodus members in the city. Now we just need to guard against attacks from without. Damn it all! They totally used me! Oh, sorry about that, Kitty. Marcus? Huh? Uh, Alvin! Hold up! He a friend of yours? Uh-huh. From back when I ran with Exodus. <gasps> we'll tail him, Gaius. You keep an eye out for suspicious types at the city gate. One final thing. If the Mila we know had to die to fulfill her duty, you should know she wouldn't hesitate for a moment. So what? I don't even know what my duty is anymore. Why can't they ever make this easy? Marcus, buddy. Thought I told you to ditch Exodus and fly right. I... I'm sorry. So you still roll with those guys? Maybe. As what, wimpy cowboy? In what world is this guy a terrorist? Yeah, he's harmless. Just hangs out with the wrong crowd, that's all. Whenever the plan calls for a disposable stooge, he's their guy. Ugh, oh, you're right. I got played as usual. What do you mean? Well, I heard a transmission from the main group. The Exodus guys in town are for show. The real action's out there. Where? On that ship, the ESS Paloon. That's where Chancellor Marcia is. You're ambushing the Chancellor of Olympias? Oh boy. We better tell Gaius about this. It's too late. Exodus agents are on board posing as crew members. They should have struck by now. You dumbasses! Chancellor Marcia is a moderate. She opposed the other world reactor plan. Meanwhile, lots of other politicians are yelling for Olympias to put the screws to Riza Maxia. If you guys take out the Chancellor, the peace process dies with her. I didn't make the damn plan. Look, there's no saving her. Exodus has definitely got the upper hand here. Not for long. They're not wasting the time Mila gave us. I brought Gaius up to speed. All right, it's time to board this ship. Are 
you sure? It looks like we've got a new do-gooder in town. Silly dude, I could have told you that. Should have piped up. But you know, this won't fix all the problems between Riza Maxia and Olympias. Not by a long shot. I mean, if we stuck our heads in the sand on this, nobody would be the wiser. No, I guess I'm not. Can't blame a guy for trying though, right? Oh, bad Alvin, go to your room! Hey, if you're gonna whine like a spoiled little brat, I'm gonna lecture you like what? That makes a weird kind of sense. All right, Alvin, put on your big boy pants. Marcus, get us a barge, man, hop to it. What, why me? And thanks for agreeing to be our decoy while we board the balloon. Decoy? But I didn't agree to nothing. Well, if you're gonna be like that, might as well hand you to the cops. Wait, okay, okay, I'll do it. Atta boy, way to be a team player. Uh, you treat me worse than Exodus does. And those guys are a bunch of terrorists. You need better friends. <coughs> Mila, listen. Don't worry. I'll be fine. I'm Maxwell. Remember? All right, we get to invade a ship pirate style. Which we skip the invading the ship pirate style. Exodus goons, it's happening. I'm Marcus with Infiltration. I need to talk to the main squad. Please! You're in violation of mission protocols! Wait! Come on, you guys! Just hear me out! Save it for the holding cell! This is bad. I thought for sure they'd take the bait. Gotta keep your head about you, or you'll lose it. So what if I do? Isn't that what you want? No, of course it isn't. What about you, Mila? Is that what you want? <laughs> Where's the Chancellor? Oh, uh, I know that. She's being held in the Central Hall with her aides. <laughs> I owe you one, Marcus. You don't seem like a total loser. You should quit doing bad stuff, okay? <laughs> uh, maybe you're right.
Ready? They even slaughtered the women and children. I'm gonna be sick. We can't let Elle see this. Got 30 minutes, but unfortunately, all these fights are on these thin little little areas where it's harder to dodge these guys. doesn't go anywhere, does it?
Rome is the same model of ship as the Zenithra. And here it is, under attack from Exodus. Gotta love the irony. I didn't think he'd actually go all the way around to get me. Job well done. I prefer medium rare. Watch your step, Mila. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, tell me the truth. Is it difficult for you to call me Mila? Why would it be difficult? You're Mila just as much as she is. Not to you, no. To you, I'm just a double. A counterfeit. I don't think that way. How do you think of me? Seriously, Luger? Look, this isn't real versus not real. My Mila and you are two different people. That's all there is to it. Well, thanks for telling me. I get the message. You know what? Of all the Milas, you're my favorite. Of course, I never met the other ones, so... Are you trying to cheer me up? No, I don't care. I just like your cooking and stuff. That's why I said it. Fair enough. <laughs> when this is all over, I'll make you a big pot of soup. If you're gonna make it anyway, then sign me up. Is everything going to be okay with Mila and Jude? I understand where each of them are coming from. It's a delicate issue. There! Starting to wonder if I should even bother with the rooms. I haven't found a set of people attached in the to Mila, rooms huh? yet. Almost makes me a little there. jealous. <laughs> of 
course, right when I stop searching them is probably when there will be. I'm guessing the fact that they show her tired at the end of the, every battle is foreshadowing, because her HP and her MP are fine. Get back! Mila, are you okay? He blew himself up because of me. Hate is too weak a word to describe Exodus's feelings for Mila. It's her own fault. She didn't finish them off when she had the chance. I'm glad she didn't, at least. Huh? My father is an Olympian. He used to be a member of Exodus. But he fell in love with Ariza Maxian, my mother. Once I was born, he gave up his life as an Exodus agent. <gasps> Wait, what? Looks like they're on to us. We better move. So does that mean... In my world, I killed Jude and his father when Jude was just a baby? He had a lot of money on him. Take a break? I'm fine. It's nothing.
Oh, damn it, there's people over there. I had a feeling there were, but I didn't actually see them because it arcs down. out there so this was a waste of time Damn, I thought for sure there'd be someone over here. It's not. You don't look so good. Did you get hurt? Oh. How would you feel if I killed your daddy? Killed my daddy? My daddy can't die. I'm going to Canaan to save him. Daddy can't. I, I need my daddy. Relax. It's a hypothetical question. It's not real. If it's not real, then why would you ask it? Sorry. <sighs> I guess I'll forgive you this time, but don't say weird things like that anymore. I'm sorry. I won't. I used to be the Lord of Spirits. And look at me now.
being human, huh? That's something I thought I wanted. But from the perspective of humans, I'll always be the former Lord of Spirits. Maybe not. Maybe it was just me hung up on that. Now my wish has come true. And all it took was to erase my world. Hey. <laughs> I was mocking myself there. Don't worry, that wasn't directed at you. Them actually got me. Central Hall should be just ahead. Yeah, we'll probably have hostages, so prepare yourself. See if any of them will talk. Good bastard. Abrido, obviously. Floor, Madam Chancellor. Rideau! Why are you doing this? Oh, now don't give me that look. I'm here to help you solve your Maxwell problem. Hit 
What the hell are you talking about? Spirius knows the Calculatrix aren't for summoning Maxwell. Yeah, right, Rado. And I'm the king of reason, Maxia. Would you still think I was bluffing if I said Spirius was founded by Krisnik, the first human ever to summon Maxwell? <laughs> if only the art weren't so messy. First of all, you need to have a living circuit. And the secret ingredient is... A living sacrifice. Damn you! There's no need for you to feign anger, Jude Mathis. You miss Maxwell, don't you? Your beloved wandering spirit. Take this! And this! I see you're quite a hit with the kids, Tony. She's no phony! Mila is Mila! Afraid not. Ow! to give up. I wonder if this leads to a bad ending. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to leave the rest to you. I was weighing if it would lead to a bad ending or not. I saved right before I came in here. Nice of you to join us, Mila Maxwell. Also, I knew L was fine. May I borrow? Rolo could have probably so one shot the Rideau. I mean, Rolo is the protector of the universe. Thank you. How nice of you to summon me here. So that's how it is. It looks like someone woke up on the wrong side of the abyss. Wrong game. Now this is going to be fun. Doesn't look fun to me, you idiot. You two ready? Yeah. So wipe that smile away. <laughs> Yeah, how come I didn't get my my mystic card? Okay, I am using the right weapons for this. Got 
Forget you. Jude? What is this? Well. Well, aren't you a strong one, Mila Maxwell? I admit I'm rather impressed. I hope you'll go after the Waymarker with a similar sense of fervor. Yet they always do when someone says that. You have my thanks. You're here from Spirius, right? L Luger just now noticed he has hands. Hey. The other one is gone. really you uh, Mila I searched everywhere for you sorry Muse I didn't mean to worry you any of you uh, I wasn't worried we knew you'd be okay it's good to see you again I wasn't worried about you there's another Mila you know and I'm worried about her It's a brave thing she did. Madam Chancellor. Because of her and her selflessness, we can proceed with ratifying the peace accord. King Gaius, Prime Minister Rowan. For foiling this assassination attempt, you have my most sincere thanks. You'd have done the same. Given what's occurred, perhaps you'd like to sign the treaty here and now. Harmony between Riza Maxia and Olympias would please me very much. Here on the ship? We've heard that many high-ranking Olympian officials stand against the treaty. Don't you worry. 
We'll employ this attack as our chance to press the offensive against them. No doubt many of them have ties to Exodus, and if we can't find proof, we'll make some up. Figuratively speaking, of course. Didn't hear what? I was just thinking aloud. But whatever you choose to do with that tidbit is up to you. You're certain, madam? I pay my debts in full, Prime Minister. And besides, if I were too much of a do-gooder, you wouldn't trust me. <laughs> Are we really that easy to read, madam? I so look forward to dancing the diplomacy two-step with you, Your Highness. By your signatures, the treaty is ratified. Very good. We've crossed the first bridge, at least. A bridge of mere paper and ink. The gap between this deed and the will of the people is not easily traversed. A difficult road still awaits us. Well, that's a threadbare cliché. <sighs> However, it does ring true at the moment. Yes, if we keep setting one foot before the other, we can reach the ends of the Earth. You were a great help to me as well. It's not much, but consider this a small token of my thanks. Oh, just to be clear, this isn't a bribe. Mila, we have little time. You're right. Let's review the situation. Don't call her Mila! Every time I hear it, I want to barf! So I guess, <clears throat> I guess the uh, M Maxwell stuff that Mila came with is to make her look like the old other dimension Mila. Ah, she really ran off. All right. Well, either way, I'm going to go and take my break. I'll be back in five, and then we'll. We'll go find L.
All right, I'm back. Hey, Herbie, how you doing today? Hey, lost. It's a new one for me. It is a new one for me. I still need to make that one for a quest, so I need to find a pretty ribbon somewhere. That I can buy. Maybe it's here. Nope. But they do have some new armor. I'm doing pretty good. It's a little hotter than normal. That's one of the only things is when I'm streaming, I have to turn off my fan and everything else. Otherwise, it'd all come through the mic. I mean, we still have the the central air, but sometimes that takes a little while to kick in. Luger, why'd you do it? Why did you let me fall back there? Well, I have a noise filter, but I found that if I set the noise filter to keep out my fan, because my fan is kind of noisy. It also it also has to take out enough of the frequency that my voice kind of starts to sound robotic. Like I've got other background noise that it's filtering out, but I guess my fan is just that loud that when I try to when I try to set it to filter out the fan, it filters out like a certain aspect of like a certain part of my voice and it it kind of takes on that robotic, you know, digital tone to it. Damn. I mean, in, in reality, I'd probably end up telling her both, not just one. She wanted to keep you safe. How would you know, huh? I just do. She was her own person, but she was still Mila Maxwell. We did sacrifice her. I can't deny it. But, by my sword, I swear to you that the loss of your Mila was not for nothing. Just a kid. Get to the point already, would ya? Fair enough. I'll say it more simply then. L, 
I want to go with you to the land of Canaan. I want you to see what I do there. Sounds like you mean business. You speak of Canaan. What's going on there? The soul purification has reached its limit. In the abyss, I saw it with my own eyes. There are too many fractured dimensions. Canaan is the only realm across all dimensions where the reincarnation process occurs. Thus it stands to reason that the impurity which must be cleansed from all those countless dimensions must be flowing into Canaan. If we do not eradicate those dimensions, the soul purification process will break down. In other words, the fractured dimensions are not only dispersing soul energy, they're also concentrating this impurity. Wonderful. Sounds like either one is enough to destroy the world on its own. What happens if soul purification breaks down? The resulting poisonous miasma will probably overflow. Couldn't the Great Spirit Origin step in and stop that from happening? Only if he thinks humans are worth saving in the first place. I think that's the whole point of Origin's trial. So be it. We've no choice but to reach Canaan and pass the Great Spirit's trial for the sake of all humanity. It is clear what wish we have to make to Origin. Destroy the fractured dimensions so this one may live. We have detected that Maxwell is no longer blocking our passage. What kind of orders did Spirius give that Rideau maniac anyway? Did something happen with Director Rideau? <laughs> Just checking. That means we can hightail it to the dimension containing the last way marker, right? Correct. However, right now the dimensional abyss is highly unstable. It will be some time before you can enter the rift with any degree of safety. We'll contact you once we've made our preparations. Selfish bastards. I'm the reason. I unfortunately caused it when I harnessed mana out of the schism to take on a physical body. With the temporal crossroads gone, you merely did what you had to. It's taboo nonetheless. I'm using mana meant for preserving the world to maintain my physical form. Hold on. I can only remain in the human realm for a finite amount of time. Rolling in? Are you having a gold rush? <laughs> I get paid by the pun, you know. <sighs> oh, come on, not even a snicker. Wait, is something wrong? <gasps> I, I had no idea. My boss just told me to give you a little push, so... I'm so sorry. We have a bit of time. We should prepare for our final trip into the breach while we await Farah's call. see you again one day I thought so too and I'm pleased to see you looking as well as ever We have to hurry to Canaan. The purification process is reaching its limit. Don't push yourself too hard, Mila. As if having to battle Kronos wasn't bad enough, you've spent a great deal of time trapped in the dimensional abyss. And do you think I'll listen when you tell me to take it easy? 
Ah, no. No, of course not. That is correct. This is no time to falter. And besides, you promised Al. Not to mention the other me. After taking physical form in the human realm, I set about searching for Kronos. And you managed to find him, I gather? No. He must have sensed my manifestation. And he found me. It took him no more than an instant to hurl me into the dimensional abyss. That must have been just before we all met him. There's no way to fathom how deep his powers go. But I can tell you this much. Of the three original spirits, Kronos' power is the strongest and most primal. More so than my own. He commands a power more primal than the elements that compose our universe? He is a terrible foe. But if he stands between us and the land of Canaan, a confrontation will be unavoidable. Where do we have character chapters? One, two, three, three. For once, it looks like they didn't open up any new areas. We don't have to worry about doing that. Almost halfway towards the repayment amount I have to do. Ice caverns and the hollow mount. Yeah, doing those two will be enough. Let's do the character chapters first. seem unwell. Your Highness, can I ask you something? What's your job? I mean, what does a king do? Hmm. If I had to sum it up in a single line, I'd say it's putting the needs of his people before himself. Does that mean you'd be willing to die to save me? No. A king cannot sacrifice himself for any individual, not you or anyone else. That would be an abdication of duty and a betrayal of his subjects. Huh. Yeah, I can see that. However, if I could save someone important to me by risking my own life, I would do so without hesitation. But you just said you wouldn't die for someone. What's the difference? In other words, I would do what your Mila did. My Mila? Yes. Although I imagine the Mila I know would have done the same. But it made me feel bad. You need to turn your sadness into pride for having been protected. Live a life that will prove to her that you were indeed worth saving. I don't entirely get it, but I think I sort of understand. Thanks, Your Highness. Luger, I was just talking to His Highness about what happened. He sort of helped me through it. Kids probably aren't supposed to bother kings with their problems, huh? Yeah, I think he was. Even though I'm just a kid, His Highness really tried to help. The kings in storybooks are mostly jerks. But His Highness is different. He's a good king. Guys. Hey, Erston just got here too. 
I take it you were curious as well? Oh, you didn't hear? Hear what? Kyle had something he wanted to talk about. Thanks for coming, guys. I owe you one. What's this about? The thing is, no one's seen Tanner in a long time. I heard he talked to you guys. I thought you might know something. Oh, so you do know. Come on, you have to tell me anything that might help. What? What the hell? Why would you guys beat up Tanner? He left us no choice. Bastard! I knew Tanner had his problems with Riza Maxia, and I always hated that part about him. But he's still a good friend. I've known him since we were kids. Hmm. A fractured dimension! So they found a new one. You have a job to do, Luger. Let's go. This appears to be the Mon Highlands, in which case, we should probably begin our search in Kanbalar. All right, night, Irby. Sleep tight. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, not bad. Bye bye. Be gone. I don't remember which one of these exits goes to Campbellar and which one doesn't. I doubt explaining the situation is going to work. I will draw their attention. You all keep moving. Thurston, are you out on patrol? Yes. His Majesty King Millard has been looking for you. It sounded important. Millard? So, he's still alive in this world. Is His Majesty ahead? Yes. Wait. You don't seem your usual self, Erston. We've reached the bitter end of our long battle. I think even you would be excited. Yes, of course. I am. And once that it's all finally over with, think of the outcome. It will be our time to shine. I'm excited about our victory and all, but... If I lost you guys in the process, it would be pointless. Hmm? I can't agree with you more. That goes for you, too, you know. Don't ever forget it, Erston. <laughs> this touchy-feely stuff obviously isn't your thing. How adorable. Who's there? Erston, why? An imposter? One of nautical spies? What? Impossible! But he looks just like him. You're on your way to assassinate the king, are you? Everyone! This man! is no friend of ours! Clearly, there is no reasoning with you in your current state. Forgive me for getting everyone involved. It's okay. Now! More alike than I'd like. Almost Come at me. Don't hold back. <laughs> They've got it where it counts, all right. Good thing I'm here. Don't hold back. I'll protect you. And this is a clusterfuck. Get 
10 frames per second in this fight because there's so much shit going on. I think we have to switch food, get the one that like ups everything by 30%. Never do the damn mystic art. All I have to do is throw the spear and then hold X. Fuck, I can't get out of this corner. Feel the 
There is way too much shit going on in this fight. Now they're just playing whack-a-mole. Like, between the frame rate dropping down to nothing and just all the random shit going on, the fact that you can't get up fast from a knockdown and they all just, like, huddle around you in a corner while you're trying to get up, that is a fucked up fight. Forgive us. Durston, for leaving you. Why did he apologize? That wasn't meant for me. Are you okay? The Chimeriad were bound together through common goals and ideologies. I thought us otherwise indifferent to each other. Were we friends all along? Let's hurry on. So who's this Millard guy, anyway? He was a former king of Ajul, and a wretched excuse for a human being. He may very well be this world's divergence catalyst. Good luck! Ah! The Lord I knew. 
toyed with... Are you okay? Yes, I'm perfectly fine. the Divergence Catalyst after all? It's possible that this thing already eliminated the Lord. I'm going to guess this is our target then. Show no mercy. Damn, I already used up a lot of resources in that last fight. There's nowhere, there wasn't anywhere to stock up again. This one is no ordinary monster. It's probably been artificially created. This is our last revive. We need to do our best. Stay strong. God damn it. Wasted way too- wasted almost all of my life bottles on that other fight. And now I'm getting thrown into another one without a chance to refill. And I've got one revive left. Why the hell did he not throw the spear? It's L1X. He didn't fucking do anything. Great. Right when I had a full meter where I could do all the link attacks into an into a mystic art. Muse had to die, so I couldn't start the chain. Here you go. And now everybody else... Jesus Christ. Just kill me so we can try this again. Artificially created. 
Finally! <sighs> I thought it would never end. Yeah. It's like three or four battles in a row where every time I went into the Kronos mode, like, it wouldn't let me do the damn Mystic Art. Yeah, just just don't be an evil demon that cheats and won't let me use my stuff. Are you still thinking about the Chimeriad? I mean, considering I, I used all of my revive items in the boss fight before, I kind of had to demolish him. It was either kill him, or I had to kill him before he could kill any of us, basically. I suppose I am. Perhaps you'll see them again in another dimension. Possibly. This has all helped me realize something. Luger, I need to find Tanner. Will you help me? Thank you. I'm glad to have you as an ally. Let's return to Triglath. Not everyone supported my plan to see Olympias with my own eyes and meet the people on its streets. But I'm convinced more than ever that it was the right choice. And gaining you as an ally is a large part of that. This is but a token of my esteem. I want you to have it. Body booster. Access to Vitality Three. somewhere in the city.
Okay, I have the Ex Machina whiskey, so I can take that one and finish it. I don't see any light shroom spores. Yeah, I don't see any light shroom spores. Might have to go get those for that one. This one I can do. concerned about you, and even threw a punch at me. He what? <laughs> Whatever, me and him are through. If that's the case, let me tell you a story. Eh. It was a time when I had people I could call friends. They sacrificed their own lives so that I might achieve my goal. Now, they are gone. Never heard of friends like that. That sounds like something else. Perhaps so. They were subordinates first, and friends second. I'm sure each had his or her own hopes and dreams, but circumstances got in the way of those dreams. We had obligations, which is why I now stand before you, alone. You don't seem too broken up about it. There was a time when I lost my composure, and because of that, when Kyle struck me, I did not know how to respond. Ha! So you do regret what happened to them? No. It just made me think about how things would have been different had we merely been friends. Where are you going with this? What's your point? What the hell are you trying to say? That I envy you, I suppose. For having friends who would stand by you even when they hold different beliefs. <gasps> Tanner! Erston, listen. About what happened. My story is done here. I'll be on my way. What about you? I'm not gonna say nothing with you watching. It pretty much. <laughs> Fair enough. The job postings sure are beneficial. Why, we could put in requests for all the world's finest foods. But that... Nah, I kind of like him better in the suit. And I guess we'd have to offer a suitable reward for each one. Okay, so where am I supposed to go to turn in this whiskey? Marksburg Bridge of Unity. This job is for a really rare item. I don't know if we'll find it through normal means. Why not ask the cats to do it? They're always coming back with rare items. Hey there, Marcus. You doing well these days? If doing well means working my butt into an early grave, then yeah, I'm doing just dandy. Hey now, quit complaining. At least you got a place to lay low and hide out for a while. Yeah, I'd be in jail right now if I didn't. Of course, I'm grateful. You've done so much for me. Hey, now, don't start with all that. Just keep your head down and work hard. I know, I know. It's tough breaking the cycle, but I want to, man. 
I want to work hard and get out of this sort of life one day. It'll take some time, but I'm going to put it all behind me. You'll see. You and me are the same. Yeah, I hear you. We brought something for you, Marcus. It's from Vera at Spirius Corp. You know her? What? From, from Vera? I can't believe she finally replied. Replied? Vera here. Did you give him the stuff? Yep. And please give Marcus the following message for me. No, that's all. Vera out. Oh! Marcus, you didn't. I did. Who's love at first sight? I've sent her at least one letter a day ever since. All the same, please go out with me, my princess. Bro, 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 what I tell you? Yeah, yeah, I know. What can I say? I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm a fool in love. I'm a tortured soul longing for that one connection more powerful than any cosmic force. Head over heels and all that. Give me some of that booze, will you? Just a swig or two. My heart is broken in several places. It's a compound fracture. It burns. I need a drink, man. I need a drink. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to give you any booze right now. Come on, just one swig. You can't have this. You can have this cool hat. I don't want your hat, Marcus. You gotta keep it together, bud. Well, that explains why Vera sent us to deliver booze. Is he going to be alright? Look, you obviously need some comfort. And frankly, I don't think I'm equipped to comfort you properly. So here, have some ex machina. Just one swig, though. Oh man, you're the best. Bros for life. From the Cal Mind. Still need to make that one. That one I can't do yet, so I don't have the high the high enough title. Uh bronze batch. This one I could do. Need an apple though. Kill quests are kind of all over the place now. <laughs> Alright, so I need three of those light shroom spores. And I can. Hello 
Shall not falter. I haven't found any light shroom spores yet. just very few pickups in general in here. there an enemy drop? And I skipped by the results screen and didn't see if, <laughs> if they dropped any. Your finish! 
finished. <laughs> Is that all? So I'm definitely starting to think they're not a drop. Like I said, I'm also not seeing like any harvesting points that are giving them out. Very few harvesting points just in general. All the harvest points are for elemental ore, not actual items.
Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just having terrible RNG or something. story of the friend. Ah, it's good to see you. Look out! Huh? Rowan! Are you okay? Get out of here! Run back to your precious Olympias, traitor! Are you hurt? So you're one of them, too! Another stinking Olympias lover! That... thank you. Stop being so mean! Typical. He cowers behind bodyguards. That was terrible. Does this kind of thing happen to you a lot? Oh no, only on occasion. Shandu is a city of tradition. Many extremists who oppose peace call it their home. Yeah, they were all like, down with Olympias! Peace will not only benefit Olympias and its citizens, but also the people of Rize Maxia. If only more people took the time to look at the big picture and realize that. They will. At this point, the best thing I can do to convince everyone is to show actual results. DODA here. I'm sorry, is everything okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm sorry if this is a bad time for you, but we have detected a new fractured dimension. The rift appears to be in Fenmont. We've sent you the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. Would you mind if I accompany you? I feel it would be prudent for me to leave here for a time. Hey, hey! Answer me! Hey, hey! Oh, it's a message from Drissel. <gasps> Is there something wrong, Elise? It's nothing. I'll come too. Let's see what the people of Fenmont have to say. Talk to people. Chief of Staff Ilbert's wife is Carrie, the younger sister of the king. King Noctegal and Rowan have a special relationship. We, the people of Rashigal, understand King Noctegal the best. He will make decisions for us. He will work tirelessly for us. And so we will create a nation of Rashigal together. Our village got flooded, so I came to petition. I didn't think the king would hear me directly. Not only that, he promised immediate dispatch of emergency supplies and tax exemption. King Noctegal is truly a great leader. The Noctegal of this world seems to be a wise and just ruler. Then he might be the Divergence Catalyst. Let's go to Order Palace and see. Yeah, because I think I remember him being a huge, a huge dick in the first game, in the Prime Dimension.
Elise. Is something wrong? N no, I'm fine. I'm about to speak to a friend I'd lost, and yet I feel strangely calm. This must be part of growing old. Audience hours have concluded. Ilbert. Surely I can drop by for a friendly visit without requesting an audience. <laughs> if I ever got to the point of turning you away, that would be a bad sign. That's quite the entourage. I presume this is something important. No, just killing time on a sleepless night. Well, I was fully prepared for a dreadfully dull evening. Shall we drink until dawn, like old times? That ornament in your hair. How striking. Oh, I never showed this to you, did I? It was a gift from my sister on the 15th anniversary of my coronation. A pity that it's now a memento. Princess Carrie. When wearing this, I can't help but be constantly reminded of the weight of my duty to our people. Even now, I can practically sense her wagging her finger at me. I see. So, in this world, a simple ornament like that has kept you from straying from your path. Hmm? Things could have easily gone in this direction. To think that you and I might have lived out our lives as friends. Rowan... Wait. You're not Ilbert, are you? Princess Carrie's ornament. Might I borrow it from you? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, imposter. But you're welcome to try and take it. We've fought enough for one lifetime. But if I must... Give me everything you've got. I want to see just who I'm dealing with. Water. Master, prepare yourself for retribution. Are you capable of such old things? You needn't ask. My spear will cut clean the path for this country's future. Well, but enough talk. There is no greater language than that of battle. Very well. I, Rowan Gilbert, accept your challenge. I'm almost starting to think this won't activate if you're too close to them. Rowan, 
doing? Why are you smiling? Just reminiscing on the past. A little nostalgia for an old friend of mine. You're not Ilbert, and yet you possess the conductor's skills. Who exactly are you? Just an old man who was to serve you loyally for the good of the country. Loyalty to me? Tell me something. What do you think of Rashagal today? I believe it is a thriving nation. A good one. The king leads his people, and the people support their king. Suppose that I try to destroy it all. What would you do about it? I would do everything in my power to kill you myself, or die trying. <laughs> Some time ago, I asked the Ilbert I know the same question. And he gave me the same answer. Are you certain? I did tell you to take it from me by force. At the end of the day, I'm not sure who you are and where you came from. But you are Rowan Hilbert, through and through. Thank you. Despite the unpleasant circumstances, I am grateful for the chance to speak with you again. Hmm. We certainly livened up a dull evening. Luca, if you would please. Rowan. It's all right. What? Before I bid farewell, Noctagall, please allow me to renew my vow to you. I will never retreat from my duty again. I will give everything to accomplish what must be done. And we're back. Rowan, are you okay? Oh, pardon me. Yes. Yes. Ah, in regards to that. Can you spare a minute? Hmm? Just follow us! Chipo! Shush! Please, let's head to the inn. Don't tell Rowan. There you are. Drissel here sent me a text. She said she's got something important to show us. Just us! No Rowan's allowed! I apologize for the secrecy. Just read this. It'll be quicker. Dear Elise, if you're reading this, then I have already shuffled off this mortal coil. What is this? It seems to be his will and final wishes. A maid found it hidden in one of the spare rooms. There's one for each of you. He can't be. He did vow to give everything to accomplish what must be done. Including his life? No way! Please, look after him for me. Of course. I'm counting on you. Trissel, you look so pale. Sorry, I'm fine. Everything will be fine. I'm not letting someone close to me die again.
This is the last character episode we have. Mila. Lady Mila, you've deigned to return to us at last. It's been a while. Has everything been going smoothly in my absence? Yes. Thanks to the myriad blessings of Lady Mila, our lives remain free of want or worry. Very well. That's good to... Hey! Cook? Hmm. I've never tried. Did you want to taste my cooking? Not really. I just remembered what a good cook Mila was. Oh. You know what? I'm never calling you by her name. I only know one Mila. Very well. If that pleases you. This doesn't tick you off? I mean it. I'll never call you by her name. That's fine. And if you decide to change your mind one day, that's okay too. Why would I change my mind? That's for you to decide. You sure are cold. Cold? I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to come off that way. Saying you're sorry doesn't fix squat. I suppose you're right. But maybe you'd be interested in being friends? Friends? Where'd that come from all of a sudden? I just like to know you better, Al. Not just for my sake, but for the other Mila, too. I... I hate you! <laughs> I doubt chasing her right now will accomplish anything. So you really do want to be friends with her? I know it can't be easy for her to overcome the loss of someone so close. But I do want her to get on with her life. All humans have that capability. Still, I think that probably wasn't the best time to ask her to be friends. Next time, how about trying to gently support her feelings? Hmm. Supporting her physically is easy enough. But feelings can be so difficult. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of time left. How come? As I said before, maintaining my physical form here is consuming precious mana. I must resolve this situation as quickly as possible and return to the spirit realm. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound cold. I guess I'm pretty lousy at supporting your feelings, too. That's not true. I know that you're always by my side. And you always will be. Jude. What is it? You've been staring at me for some time. That hair that sticks out of your head. I don't think my Mila had that. Alright. That's all the character chapters done. So let's go hunting for elite monsters now. I think there were two of them. Kukar Ice Caverns and Niakara Hollow Mount.
Oh, okay, there we go. There's a pretty ribbon. Here, now I can turn that in. So even if I get these next ones, I still can't turn them in because I'm not ranked high enough. Is Harpy Edge available to make yet? Rapier and more migrant plumes. Okay, Kukar Ice Cavern and the Hollow. Shit, I don't know if I want this... I don't know if I want to go in with this team.
Marina. an art. What did I get? Requiem. Form a backflip and fire wildly at foes from midair. Can be used more swiftly from the air when mastered. Don't you look all shiny. alive. Did he just double cap that same spell? Because I could have swore it ended. Has a an inn real close by. It's 
this one. Go hunt down the last one. Probably towards the end, though. Not. It might be in that big room there. Let's keep it up. Bye bye. I should have double checked to see what this thing looks like before I go hunting it down. You know what, I'll fight both of you. They usually have pretty good item drops. Victory is beautiful. Not this time though, they didn't like, when I say they have pretty good item drops, they usually drop, like, one of the gels that you can't really buy. first time in this playthrough that I've tried to run away from a battle. It might not be worth it considering how long it takes. It'd probably be faster just to kill everything. Hello there. Thought maybe it might be in here in this big room, but I guess not. Is. 
that's definitely the big monster I'm looking for. That's right, energy shackles is fire too. That grab attack of it does a lot of damage.
uh, turn these in, and that should definitely be enough money to go to the next main story chapter. Also do this. I don't have enough, but I can do that one. Same. Same, but I need to make it. Kresnik, I have a message for you from President Bakor. I want to meet the real Maxwell. Bring her to Spirius. End quote. Please follow through at your earliest convenience. All anyone cares about is the stupid Maxwell, Mila. I'm sorry. I hate that stupid Spirius company, but... I guess we have to go. Man, it sure is weird to be traveling with Gaius and Musée this time. <laughs> Indeed, we were mortal enemies only a year ago. I still remember the final battle between Mila and Gaius. When Mila got Gaius in a leg trap chameleon clutch and forced him to tap out. She's joking, obviously. I wasn't tapping out, I was reaching for the ropes. The judge called it wrong. Wait, what? I don't know what this chameleon clutch art you speak of is, but if it has the power to force Gaius to submit, I would very much like to learn it. Shall I teach you? First, you need to find and wrap your arms around a chameleon. Ugh, I can't keep up with this anymore! Luger! The joke's over! Move along! Mmm, roast chameleon. I've never heard of eating such a creature. Served with a nice demi-glace and sliced mushrooms? I believe the traditional garnish for roast chameleon is a dash of spice to give away more color. That sounds delightful! And then maybe you can whip up a plate of cobra clutch. It'll make you just want to fork up everything with your tongue. Or you might say the flavors really coil around your taste buds. Stop! Stop! That's not how you do comedy! You're just beating the premise to death! Ugh! I almost miss when Muse and Gaius were solemnly trying to kill us. Nice one. Bye bye. I think I just need one more jade to be able to do that that request. But where is the save point? before we stop for today. So, yeah, next time we pick this up, we'll be continuing straight from the main story, taking um, new Mila in this game, but old Mila in the first game to go see um, the president of the Spirius Corporation. I think that'll be chapter 12?
Yeah, we're on chapter 12 of 16. So I'm thinking we may be able to finish this next week. But as per usual, no stream tomorrow. It's my one day off from streaming. And then when we come back Monday morning, we'll probably be having, I assume, so I may be wrong, but I'm just guessing that we'll be finishing up with AI the Somnium Files. And then, as I said, uh, Tuesday Tuesday morning, we'll be back to Tales of Zillia 2. And I think within next week, we should be able to finish it. And the game after it is going to be Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. It's uh, I kind of went through my whole giant list of backlog and made a short list of stuff that I want to do, you know, soon. And when I read it out, there were a couple people that said that I should do that one. So I'll do that one next. And then since that is the game that I pick, once I start that game, as of like the first day that I start playing it, the redemption will go up for someone to pick the next game. But, yeah. We had a couple of decently hard boss fights in Gaius' chapter, and Rowan's was actually... Rowan's was actually kind of sad because he had they had to destroy and basically kill the version of his friend that was still good, whereas in uh in their own dimension, you know, he turned into a piece of shit and they had to kill him. And then they have to kill him again when he's actually a decent guy. But Yeah. I definitely wouldn't put this game, you know, up there with the better Tales of games. I know it's usually considered to be one of the worst ones, but it definitely does have its it it has its high points. It's just that they they definitely were trying to they were trying to do a few some new things and a lot of the new things they're trying to do probably just didn't work out too well. Like the the debt mechanic is I mean it's it's just a almost like a grind gate before you can hit the next chapter and it kind of it kind of makes your progress feel a little artificial because they have all 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 these parts where it's just like oh well uh like right there when they were saying before that um we finally got the new Mila and they're like oh we can go off the next way marker now it's like no everything is unstable now you'll have to wait and waiting just equates to making a payment on your debt. And magically, once you've made a payment on your debt, the amount of time that you needed to wait is up. So, I don't know, it just, it makes progression feel odd. That and the fact that they're, they're not really, like, because the whole thing is just um, the fractured dimensions, there's there's kind of too many optional areas in that they're using the entire map from the first game, but like 99% of the map from the first game that they're using, there's no reason to go there. And even even if you go there optionally, there's not really any rewards. I mean, there's crafting materials so that you can make better weapons that you can that you find as you're there. But I don't know. Just it just doesn't. It is kind of worthwhile because, like I said, you get the crafting materials and stuff that you need to make weapons. But it doesn't feel worthwhile because. And this is a personal thing of mine. This is one of the reasons why I don't really like crafting systems in games that much. It's not. It's not as rewarding opening up a chest and getting one eighth of an item that you then have to go and put together, then it is just open up a chest and get an item. Like I'd much rather, I'd much rather go all the way to the end of the area and have there be one chest with like a sword. That's an upgrade. than go through the whole area and get five, five or six chests that I then have to go back into town to, mash them all together to make a sword that's an upgrade like you don't get that you don't really get that you know ooh, that's you know 
when you open up the chest and you see the thing, you don't get that like, ooh, that's that was worth it. Like that's something good. That's an upgrade. No, I don't want to be came. I don't want to want to be famous. Go away. But yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't really like. I know that's one of the things that's kept me away from the Atelier series. It's not so much the uh, the slice of life story gameplay stuff like that. It's just the fact that like the main entire focus of the game is on crafting, and I don't know. I. I, I miss the days when chests and dungeons just had stuff and not components to make stuff. And I blame Minecraft. <laughs> I blame Minecraft for being so damn popular that now everything has to be about crafting. But anyway, my old man rant. Uh, let me go ahead and give call outs and then I'll end for today. So, Wabon, Lost, Jigs, Cappy, Nami. Thank you all for coming in and chatting with you while I play. And thank you to anybody else who may have been lurking and watching. It's always appreciated. Um, as I said before, no stream tomorrow. Uh, when we come back on Monday morning, we will be playing and quite possibly finishing AI the Somnium Files, and then Tuesday morning we'll be back on this. And I do believe that within the course of next week we'll be finishing this. So, as for right now, let me see if I can find someone to raid. Okay. Now, I don't know why the hell he's up this late, but I never get a chance to raid him. I'm usually hanging around his chat before I start my own. But I'm going to go ahead and raid Bakusan, because for some strange reason he is still awake. So, as per usual, let's go ahead and jump in, say hi. Hope to see you all next time, and until then. Bye-bye, everybody!